cool. I don't have to worry about it all night. I just put this video together because it is a compilation of the things that happened when Rosemary was in labor. We did not expect this. We were out just as a family doing chores and feeding the horses. And we were just wandering around. The girls were in the pen with the Nubians. And my oldest daughter said, hey, mom, I think Rosemary's pushing. So we wandered over there to see. And sure enough, she was full on pushing. So it was quite an awesome thing for it to be daylight. I haven't caught a couple of the births. And so for us to get this opportunity for the girls to be able to see this was amazing. And we were all able to just stand there and talk to her. This was her first freshening, so this was her first babies. And so my daughter kept trying to go over to her and help her and wanted to pet her like we normally do when we thought maybe she just needed a little bit of space. Also, we had a friend over, and so we were talking a lot and back and forth, and so I thought this would be the easiest way to show you what was going on. I did want to show the video, so I hurry and got my camera out and tried to set it up. And I try to make a habit of taking my little camera stand out there with me so that I can set it up. And at this point, I wasn't sure if she was going to need help or not. She is quite small on the back end. And when I was seeing her push, I thought I better hurry up and jump the fence. And so that's what I started to do in a minute. She was pushing quite hard and bearing down. And so I thought I probably needed to help her. There's my daughter trying to comfort her and support her. And we're like, no, just give her a second. See if she she can do this on her own. I'm also new at this. And so when the bag pops like that, I know you only have like 15 minutes or so to get the baby out and so I immediately thought I should intervene also like I said we were out doing chores and so I did not have gloves we did not have towels or anything to wipe the baby with so we were just kind of winging it so I decided I better just step in and help her a little bit and that baby was big and stuck. You're okay. <laughs> so I got the second leg and started to try to open the cervix with my finger and tried to try to widen it and waited for her to push. You'll see me like wait for her to push. As soon as she pushes, I pull down as hard as I can. I'm not sure how she would have done that on her own. And then I wipe it on my pants. Sorry about that. Those are clean jeans. <laughs> they were clean jeans. Anyway, I was just worried about getting the airway clear. That thing was sucking up those that juice and stuff. And I did not want it to get it in its nose and in its lungs. So... Just trying to clear the airways. Your baby. And my husband at some point takes off and goes, yeah, there he goes. He goes to get me something else to wipe my hands on and something to clear the airways. I have booger suckers. I have all kinds of things to help me, but everything was in the house. And she was so dazed and stunned. She just kind of stood there. She wasn't sure what she was supposed to do. Alice? And she really didn't give us long. A few minutes later, she started it on the next one. We were all sitting there talking about how cute the baby was, and and she starts pushing again. 
with dad. Oh, Mary, I'm wiping my hands on my pants. Excuse that. The video cuts off right after this because a goat knocks my camera over and we didn't get any other footage. So this is the video of her giving birth to her twins. Sorry. Hey, goat, stop. I don't have anywhere to put it. 